Today I want to talk about packaging, um, how I do it and why I think it's an important step in the process of selling your artwork. Packaging was a big consideration for me because I've ordered prints in the past and received them in kind of a lackluster way, not in any way that was, um, you know, uh, harmful potentially to the print or artwork itself, but in a way that it's like it's standard stuff that you see and I kind of wanted to maintain the artisanal handmade feel of, of the work. Um, and I wanted to do so in a way that was cost effective, something that looked great, and um, if I could do so with a minimal footprint to the environment, um, that was these were all things that were important to me that I was trying to find a single solution to. So I ended up going with a company called Eco Enclose. They manufacture shipping products that are both eco-friendly and cost-effective. Um, they're, they're not very expensive, which is nice. And um, they look great. It, everything that they sell is this sort of natural uh, chip sort of craft. It's very organic. It feels great. It looks great. So what I want to do now is I want to take you over to the bench and I'm going to put together one of my packages as if the print was sold going to your door so you can see exactly what goes in uh, to putting the print package together. And hopefully this will give you some ideas on how you would like to, to uh, package your work. So come on. Okay, so first things first, I take my print. These are just some of my final prints that I have. Um, so these I keep stored, um, packaged in acid-free um, cello and some of the eco-enclosed chipboard backing. So um, what all is entailed in the package? So when you, when I first package the print as they are coming out of the box, um, I'll have one at least, sometimes two, um, behind the print. It really just depends on if I'm getting any kind of bowing from the print. Sometimes I store them with two just to keep it extra rigid and that will help relax the paper a little bit. Um, and then I take the, I take those two and I put them inside of a cello sleeve. This is acid-free. 8x10 sleeve. This is from uh, Golden State Art in California. You can get stuff directly from them or um, they have a selection of their best-selling stuff on Amazon. Um, but their shipping is quite fast and they're pretty affordable. Um, so the print will go in on top of those and then I've been using this sheet of like just sort of opaque uh, vellum. I used to print um, a logo on top of this, but I'm having an issue with my printer where it's like putting a, a line of dots and I can't quite figure out how the heck to get rid of it. So for the time being, I've just been doing these blank. And this just adds a really nice, um, it's, it's a subtle thing, but especially when you have the, your logo printed on it, um, it looks really nice. So, yeah, so this is what the print would go into. It has a, a self-adhesive stick on the back that I can just peel that off and seal it up. And now we have a print. So, what do we put that in? Next step, um, we use the two more of the chipboard inserts. This one does have um, just my little monogram type um, name block on there. And I just have a laser printer uh, that I paid like a hundred bucks for on Amazon. And I just manually feed this through the front tray. Uh, I just made that up in Photoshop. So it's a really nice thing that uh, looks really cool. Uh, so what I do is I'll take this and I will just sort of bookend these. I put a little gap in there and then I'm using just some brown craft masking tape. These are all Amazon purchases. Um, actually, I did this wrong. Fl I flip I didn't, I flip them so that I can tape the outside first. 
and that way the excess will wrap around the inside. I'll show you how that looks here. So, not long enough. So I'll lay this across, just like that. I peel this up, flip it, and then I'll take these ends and pull them across. These little tag ends. And then, so we've got two little hanging chads there, and then I'll just uh, evenly uh, cover those with another strip on the inside. So what we have now is just a really nice, clean chipboard insert with your name on the front of it. And then we can take your print, and put it in between those two and make a nice little print sandwich. You get a little bit of excess hanging down at the bottom, but most of that is just clear plastic, so it's totally fine. I haven't had any reports of anything being bent or weird. So we'll take that then uh, and we can put it in the envelope, seal it up and mail it. But I added one more special little touch uh, just to make these feel really cool when you open it. And that is, um, I got these photo corners that are craft brown as well as just some craft brown envelopes. Um, and so what I do with these, if you haven't already guessed, I'll put these corners on the envelope. There, so now we have an envelope with four um, photo corners on it. And then what I do with that is I just kind of eyeball it and stick down one end, kind of push it over and stick down the other end. Now we have this envelope on the inside flat. It kind of reminds me of something like, like I feel like Indiana Jones would be really proud of this if he opened it up. It's like some kind of like, I don't know, maybe I'm just reading too far into it, but I think Indy would dig it. <laughs> but, so now when you pull the envelope out, those corners stay. And then in here, I will um, include the invoice and uh, a, a little note saying thank you. And um, I'm working on, on addition prints, I'm working on um, a certificate, you know, just a piece of paper from my hand saying that this is a piece of art that I created. Once this is stuffed with goodies, you can just slide it back in there. And you've got yourself a nice nifty little print package. Now all of this fits nice and tidily inside of the um, Eco Enclosed Rigid Mailer. This is the one with the double uh, flap on the back. And once this is all inside, I'll fold these in. And then I'll take one more piece of tape and just tape along the back just to, to make sure that it stays closed. And then you can label the front. Now, because the label is going to be the first thing that you see and the packaging, I also wanted to make sure that that was uh, going along with the aesthetic. So I ordered these um, Avery Brown Craft shipping labels. These are the 5783s. These are the five and a half by eight and a half. These are much larger than I ended up needing. These are for boxes, I would suggest, as pictured. So one of these, I'll just show you, there's two on one sheet. Um, it takes up a big portion of the um, envelope. So what I usually do is I use the UP USPS click and ship, and I will get a PDF of the label, bring it into Photoshop, size it down a little, and then I use just, um, just a slide cutter and I cut them down to where they're, you know, they're an appropriate average, I would say, average size shipping label. But once the, that's done, they look great, and you can take that to the post office, drop it off. Um, it's quick, easy, it's really nice looking, it's super rigid, like the print is going to be fine. Everyone that sent me back, um, Feedback has said that the packaging has been great and they've sent me pictures and they look beautiful and I would say all in all the packaging costs 
under five dollars and somewhere around um, three dollars and eighty cents I think uh, with everything included so there's a lot of little doodads in here all the little photo corners and cards and that kind of stuff but it all adds up to this final print that when you when you get your print in the mail and you open it up that hopefully you will look at it and say oh my gosh this thing is awesome and for you as an artist um, you can you can really have fun and make these look how you want and you can really have fun with it so I wanted to go with the craft brown kind of organic texture and feel and that just so happened to also be eco-friendly and inexpensive so thumbs up so that's it that's uh that's how i package my stuff when i sell it uh, i hope that that was fun for you to watch and hopefully gives you some ideas on how to package your work uh, i'll put links to everything that i use in the description uh, including eco enclosed check them out they're a really cool company i actually just saw on their instagram yesterday that they've started doing custom printed packaging using i want to say algae based inks which is like a living ink apparently so pretty wild stuff so check them out they're a cool colorado company um check out the patreon if you haven't already if you guys if, if there's any of you out there that like what i'm doing and could throw a couple bucks a month towards the channel um it's really helpful and really appreciated so thank you to everyone who has backed currently um you guys are just like totally getting me stoked on all of this stuff just as as much as we've gone in the past few months um february i guess is our one year anniversary of the channel so um, we'll have to think of something fun to do for that but uh, if you guys have ideas for any new videos that you want to see let me know um, i've got some ideas of my own but uh, yeah i'd love to hear what you guys are interested in and want to see so um yeah i'll see you guys in the next one so long